What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. So in today's video we have a new tool released for downgrade purposes. So if you want to downgrade your iOS device with your saved SHSH blobs, a new tool is now available and it's now easier to do the downgrades. Developer 80036ND posted quote, restore mate. The all-in-one app to downgrade your Apple devices with Checkmate using SHSH2 blobs and supported devices include all iPhones with the A7 to A11 processor and all iPads with the A7 through A11 processors. So this is now available in here, but there is now even an update available. The program is basically a GUI to the uh, future restore, but it's actually very useful for those of you who are beginners in a community and don't exactly know how to use terminal applications, you know, with the, uh, the terminal and everything. So while this is not something revolutionary or anything, this is actually good for those of you who aren't exactly very good at the uh, terminal and of course would require a GUI application. It also has a blog or a website in here, RestoreMate, where you can download RestoreMate version 2, which comes with a couple of patches that I created to make the project even better because initially it lacked a couple of things so I added them and of course I contacted the developer and it says in here that it contains my patches. Now what this does is to basically allow you to use your saved SHSH blobs for example those that you saved with the DSS saver and of course it uses Checkmate which is compatible with the iPhone 5s all the way up to the iPhone 10 and using that you can downgrade your device to any version you want if you have the blobs for that. For example if your device runs 13.4.1 one, but you want to downgrade it to let's say 13.1.3 if you have the blobs for that it would be possible so the program when you get it is basically a zip file which contains the application like this now I already have it so um, I'm going to open it from here and it's as simple as it can get it's a simple Mac OS application which is basically designed for the people who do not know how to use the terminal or who don't want to use the terminal because they're afraid of running commands on their computer. So the first thing you need to do is to press download restore mate code in there. It basically gets the future restore and a couple of things so that the uh, program can work because the application in here as it is is just a GUI to the future restore. And then you have the step one and it tells you how to set the nodes. For that you need to get a specific application from a specific repo. It gives you here the information then it tells you exactly what you need to set and how it should look like and then of course you can get the step two which is to prepare the files. It tells you in here exactly what you need to know. For for example, where to save blobs, what you can use, how to download them and stuff like that, where to get IPSW files, for example from here on the uh, IPSW.me, you press the iOS version for example and you press download in here and you get the IPSW file for that. So you're going to need the IPSW and then of course you need to place them in a specific order with specific names. For example the blob has to be called blob.shsh2 and the uh, IPSW has to be called restore.ipsw and you have to put them all in a specific folder in here in documents restore made v Two. And then you can continue to the step 3 which is basically to restore. Now if you're running macOS Catalina you press in here and if you're running the uh, Mojave or under like I do in here you press restore device on this one in here and it's basically going to start the terminal and if everything is okay for example if you have the files present if everything is okay then you will be able to restore but in my case you can see that I do not have the uh, IPSW so it tells me that the IPSW is not there so I have to put it in there so as I said it's a very very simple application it's mostly designed for the newcomers in our community and it's not designed to be anything major or any uh, replacement to future restore in fact it does use future restore in the background it's just a GUI but it's a good one and it's one that can help the newcomers in the community who do not exactly know how to use commands in the terminal because future restore commands can get a little bit tangled if you do not know what you're doing in there. And this kind of program basically eliminates some of the errors that you can do as a newcomer with the terminal because future restore is not exactly very forgiving. If you mess up a command during a restore, you may not be able to perform that restore again because you may restore in a bad situation and of course you lose your nones through that bad restore that fails and at that point if you lose your nonce which is basically the nonce generated from the uh, blob you will not be able to perform a second restore so future restore isn't exactly a very forgiving application if you mess up the commands and this program basically helps you to ensure that you do not mess up anything so as long as you have the files set up properly in the folders and of course as long as you have a proper blob you should be good to go thank you for watching i'm gsnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out